Hello, hello. So I thought I would show you how to do a image backup of your hard drive or SSD with Clonezilla. And uh, I think I have the uh, Ubuntu server version of Clonezilla. So yeah, because it might be a bit tricky how to kind of create this. And it works perfect, kind of the same way to restore the hard drive. So let's actually just get out of the BIOS here. And what I do here, I use UEFI. So I press F8 here at start to get a boot menu. And uh, F8 might be different depending on your motherboard. I have the Asus motherboard. And I also have a uh, or an uh, a 500 gigabyte uh, hard drive mechanical hard drive and I only store these backups on this and it should be working with USB drives if you connect it to USB 3 or whatever I haven't really tested that because my 500 gig hard drive is connected to an eSATA port that I that I have on my PC but anyway here you see I have if I don't press F8 it will automatically boot into Windows again but I want it to boot on the uh, CD I have an external USB DVD reader and burner so it will boot on that And this might take a little while. And here you get options to uh, select the video resolution. I select the 1024 768 here. Press enter. And with this software you only use your keyboard. And you basically only use the uh, arrow keys, tab key and the enter key. So right here it might take a little while for it to load. Hello by the way. <laughs> you see a blurry version of me on a dusty monitor. <laughs> Yeah, don't be scared when it's a black screen like this. It will take a while to kind of load Clonezilla. And here we go. So don't reboot or anything. Just and here you can select the keyboard. I just select the default one here, the English. Keep the default keyboard layout. Yeah, I do that. Start Clonezilla or enter shell. Use Clonezilla. And here you got a couple of options. Device image at the top. Work with disks or partition using images. And that's what I want to do, so keep it. And the red bar is the selection you make. Same here at the top. Use local device, you know, hard drive, USB drive. Press enter that one and you see now it at the bottom it says press enter to continue. So press enter. And right here it just says text there, yellow text, press control C to exit. Or exit that window, not exit Clonezilla. <laughs> Alright, now you have to mount uh, the hard drive where you are going to store your uh, backup image. And you can't store it on your primary or the drive that you're going to backup. So how do you know that? Well, 
right here you see it says Intel SSD peak key or something. That's my NVMe drive, you see it to the left. So that's the drive I'm actually going to back up and you see it has four partitions and I want to store my images on the 500 gig drive and you see here at the bottom it says ST3500 so it's a 500 gig partition almost so I select that one and press tab and just okie dokie and you can save your files directly sort of on the root directory directly on the drive I save it on a folder I named it clonezilla so I just have that selected and press enter and here you can see the other backups that I already made but I keep it on the uh, top here it says dot dot parent directory and just click tab until you get to done and press enter right now it says at the bottom as well press enter to continue and beginner mode at the top here just click enter same thing here it says save disk at the top save local disk as an image that's uh, when you want to create a backup of your drive if you want to restore from any image to the hard drive you go down to restore disk and then you get the option to select which image you want to restore the drive with but right now I'm just going to create the image so I'll select the top here and press tab and now you get the option to name the image and I always keep the date so I know when it's done and if you create multiple sort of image images every day I suggest you give them different names but keep the date so I get to the uh, start here and I name it Windows dash 10 dash pro and the type of drive that I have and it's in NVMe and the size of it 256 gigabyte and this is a backup I also do a sort of a clean install of Windows as well, so I can get back to that easily, just wipe everything. And this is a backup. And I already got a backup of today when I installed a uh, sound card. So this will be uh, the update for when I come testing the, to add the Intel graphics card built into the processor, so I just Intel. Uh, graphics and a dash so if I don't want to have the Intel graphics anymore I can just go back and restore so it will completely remove the drivers for it and then you press tab to OK there and just press enter and if you have multiple drives on your system say two or three you get a list of all the drives you can back up and what you have to do is that it's in you see at the left right here there's a little star and that means that this drive is now selected because it's a single drive but if you have multiple drives you get the option to select which drive to back up and there's no star in there at all so you just move up and down with your arrow keys and then press space on the drive that you want to back up but this one is pre-selected because it's a single drive in here so i just press tab okay and here you got some options skip checking repairing source file system yeah skip that so I just press tab enter uh yes check the saved image no i don't want to check it so select that and press tab and enter and i don't want to encrypt the image either so i just press tab here or not to encrypt and enter 
now you get an option where what it should do, what Clonezilla should do when it's finished. So I just select shut down, press tab, and OK. And at the bottom here, bottom left corner, you see it's press enter to continue. And you get a question, are you sure you want to continue? Press Y, the key Y, and press enter. And now it will start to back up your hard drive to an image. And as you saw in earlier, it had four partitions, so it will back up every partition. So that's why it's so quick at the beginning. So you might think, wow, this is super fast, but no. Here it starts to actually checking the big partition, the main partition, or the Windows partition, so to speak. And now it's actually doing the Windows partition. You can see some information right here. It says device size. So the total size of the drive is 255.4 gigabyte space used. 48.8 gigabyte free space and block size and everything and file system and TFS so Clonezilla works with both NT NTFS drives and also Linux drives you know ETX4 uh, the important here is uh, the uh, there's a thing called MBR master boot record and the GPT GUID partition table and all of your drives including this backup drive needs to have the same sort of system so either all of the drives need to be MBR or GPT because when I tried this I got an uh, first I got an error saying I can't continue there's an error and it said that uh, there's a mix of GPT and MBR drives uh, because my computer had uh, GPT drives, formatted drives and the backup drive was MBR so there was a kind of an issue there so keep remember that all of the drive including the uh, backup drive needs to be formatted at the same format MBR or GPT they can't be both so yeah I forgot to tell you that earlier but if you got this far you know <laughs> you are serious but this will actually take a while and uh, when it's done it's going to uh, eject the CD or if you have a thumb drive it will eject sort of the thumb drive and it will say that remove the device and press enter and when you do that it will shut down or reboot depending on what you selected so yeah that's how you back up or create an image of your hard drive you can clone drives as well but I'm just doing the backup you do the same thing to restore but it's the difference was that you actually just select the uh, image to restore with and uh, then select the drive you want to so, sort of restore and it's doing kind of the same thing as now and then shut down so yeah that's clonezilla for you and this was uh, this is a lot easier to do now because i used this software a couple of years ago and it was so extremely confusing uh, so I just no I'm not using it but right now it's a lot, a lot easier to do even though it looks a bit tricky it's actually easier to use and it works flawlessly as well it really works so yeah see you later